Hi, you guys, I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing. Today, I wanna to tell you about some of the pros of being a small investor over what happens with large fund managers when you're trying to be one of those guys. There's a common misconception that succeeding as an investor requires that you have lots and lots of money to invest. In reality, being a small investor allows you several big advantages that fund managers investing millions of dollars at a time do not have. When I started, I wanted to remind you guys, I started as small as you can get. I started with under a thousand dollars and in five years I had over a million and a half bucks. So there are some great advantages of being a small investor. In fact, most of the money in the stock market is little guy money, amazingly, or just money from investors who are just like you and me, they're saving for their retirement, which makes the whole 99% 1% thing kind of interesting, doesn't it? In other words, the 99% have all of the money and then they give it to the 1% who go make all the money with it and keep that. It's crazy. What are we doing? We can change the world so much just by taking control of our own money. Now, some of the advantages of being a small investor over managing large amount of capital is what I want to talk about now. First, we little guys are nimble and agile. I was remembering that back in 1999, somebody asked Warren Buffett, why didn't you get out of Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola was like $75 a share. It was ridiculously overpriced. And Buffett said, yeah, I know, but I'm no longer nimble. I'm not little anymore. He said, if, if, if somebody is trying to tell you that managing a lot of money is not a weight on your investment returns, they are trying to sell you a fund. So let's talk about this. One of the biggest advantages you have, right, is that you, the little investor, can invest in a way that's really incredibly nimble and agile. It means you can get into things so easily and you can get out of them so easily. A manager of a large fund, when they buy or sell a stock, everybody knows about it, even before they can complete their move and are out of a position. What happens is they start making these trades and all of a sudden the volume starts to go up. And if they do it too fast, they can move the market. They often, they try to buy and sell a stock, you know, um, and, and what they're gonna do is actually set up computer programs that will watch the level of volume going on in the market and continue to throw stock shares out there to get out or to get in. It can take these guys six to eight weeks to get into a position and sometimes 12 weeks to get out. Now, meanwhile, you and I, we can get in and out of stocks like that. It doesn't take any time at all. I can buy most of what I want, even with several million dollars, without drawing any reaction from the market at all. Large fund managers often have a really limited number of companies that they can invest in. That's another huge advantage that we have. The entire market's opened us. There is about 11,000 stocks in North America between uh, Canada and the US. And I'll tell you, most of the money being invested in the market is being put into about 3,000 of them. The fact is that when you have a lot of money to invest, the sheer lack of, of liquidity of small companies means that fund managers, they just have to stick it to a handful of stocks, relatively speaking. Small investors like you and me, we can easily invest in any stock we want. In fact, here's something really cool. When we stick with the little stocks, we're looking at stocks that the big guys are not really paying a lot of attention to. And what that means is, if the big guys go in, the stock price runs way up really fast, and when they get out, it runs down really fast. In other words, these littler stocks are more volatile. They move up and down. And if you can find companies that you really like, that are small, it's more likely that they will go on sale quicker than any of these big ones. So there's really a great place for us to play right there. Thing is, when you're running a big fund, you're getting charged with investing other people's money, and that comes with a lot of pressure also. And often the pressure will force fund managers to make decisions that might not deliver the best returns in the long run. For example, one of the best things you can do as an investor is sit on your money in cash. Not literally in cash, you put it into a money market account or something, and you just wait for an excellent buying opportunity where you are able to purchase a great company at a really discounted price. Now, people who entrust their money with a fund manager, however, expect it to be invested right away, okay? Meaning the fund manager cannot be patient with the money. They just can't. They, here, let me tell you another reason why, is because 
pension funds load up most of the funds that investors are investing on Wall Street. It comes in from pension money from your 401k or from your IRA. And what they do is they pile that money in and then those managers of the pension money are managing the managers of the money. So it's like two layers deep getting paid, right? So you got the person managing the money, then you got the person managing the manager of the money. And this guy who's running this pension fund put $50 million in with this manager. Guess what? He's watching him every single month. How are you doing? How are you doing? Warren Buffett says it like this. He says, it's like you're sitting there at the, at the, at the plate and somebody's pitching to you. And it's like, you've got this really loud guy right behind you at right behind home plate. And every time the pitcher starts to, to throw the ball, he yells, swing, you bum, swing, you bum right? Because he's paying this fund manager to swing. He's not paying him to stand there and do nothing. On the other hand, you and I, we got nobody saying that except what's going on in our heads. So one of the great things about learning rule one investing is learning to be patient, take advantage of the fact that we're little, that we're nimble, and we don't have to swing at anything, anything. We have no outside pressure. We have no concerns like the fund managers do. And I'll tell you that fund manager who has to swing, the market's going to level you. If you can't wait for a fat pitch, you are not going to have high rates of return. And the fund managers can't wait. What a gigantic advantage. I wish you guys could get that fried into your brain like I did 40 years ago almost. Now, if you're still convinced that fund managers have an investing advantage over small investors, you can always copy what they're doing, right? As I mentioned earlier, it's highly publicized when a large fund manager decides to get in or out of a stock and the information, such as the companies they own, how large their position is, huh? right? The date they bought it and or if they're selling it, the date they sold it, how many shares, all of that is right there online. If you know where to look, I'll give you a place right now. You can go online, look up solid investors who follow rule one philosophy, and follow their market moves. You can go right over to our website, rule1investing.com. It's right on there. Investors like Warren Buffett, Monesh Prabhai, Guy Spear, and many others have to provide this information. And these are some of my favorite investors in the world. And we get to copy them. We call that, in fact, copycat investing. It's called cloning, copying. And Charlie Munger himself recommends it as one of the most important things you can do to take advantage of the fact that you're little. And we get to see what they're buying, we get to see what they're selling, we get to find stocks that are on sale. Copycat investing is something that only you little guys can do. You cannot do it if you're managing large sums of money. By the time you see that somebody's doing it, it's too late for you. But because we're nimble, we can jump in there. Now I'd love to hear from you guys. I just gave you a pile of reasons why you should be investing on your own. So. Tell me, are you excited about being a small investor? Because you should be. So leave a comment below with your answer and I'll be sure and follow up with you guys. Now, thanks for watching. Time to go play. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in teaching you more about the pros of being a small investor that you have over a fund manager, hit the like button and please share this video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.